All right, well, uh, it's a pretty warm day, but believe it or not, in May, we actually had some flurries of snow yesterday, which is uh, annoying. Um, it's late in the air, but I'm going to go flip some boards real quick near my house, see if I can turn up a milk snake, something like that. Just see what's around. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and uh, tomorrow I plan on going to the Pine Barrens or something like that. We'll see what happens, uh, so stick around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wet. Probably pretty wet. Ugh. Lots of ants. Lots of tunnels too. Once it kind of gets hotter and drier, it'll be good for milk snakes and stuff. This, this thing's usually pretty good. This I haven't found anything on this, but this one looks like not too hard. Yeah, see, it's just a, maybe a little early for this. It's a little wet. Have you been uh, social distancing? Yeah. That's good. This board is usually pretty good. That's about all we have here. Oh, it's so wet. Look at this little guy, hitching a ride in my car. I'm getting rid of him. This tarp always is really good for finding stuff in it. Oh, there's a garter. Nice. You want them? Not really. All right. I'll put them right there. High hopes for this board. Let's see. Very stuck to the ground with the mud. Will be good later. And there's a big hole under there. Interesting. Should be good later. Uh -huh. well, that one's always been pretty reliable. It must just be the time of year. Not seeing nothing. Damn. Here, let me get an angle over here. Uh, usually it takes a little bit for these boards. These are boards I've had for a long time and it kind of, they're like in mid-summer, like maybe starting late June through going through, you know, September or something. They're phenomenal for milk snakes. Just easy spot to get milks. Um, but then this early in the year, they're always kind of wet and don't really produce much. So, uh, we're gonna see if we can hike something and then uh, next part will be tomorrow. Just driving along and saw these roadside boards. Flipped the top one, haven't gone through the rest yet. Got a uh, little juvenile black racer. That's pretty sweet. I don't see these guys in this age too often. They turn completely black when they get older. Pretty awesome. Notoriously feisty little snakes. Pretty awesome. All right, next snake in the next layer of boards is this uh, equally feisty garter snake who wants nothing to do with me. Maybe there'll be a milk snake in the next layer. We'll see. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what's under this next layer. So far, nothing. Let's see the very last. Nothing under the very last layer. I'm gonna put it back down. Rocks look decent. 
Okay, something hanging out in here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, black racer. Hey, 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 hey oh! Oh. Oh. Easy, buddy. He was on the side of the trail here, and uh, he legitimately tried to swallow my freaking finger. That's what these guys are are known for here. He's coming down. You said you're not gonna touch my stuff. Show my finger real quick. Guy literally tried to swallow my finger. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna eat him. He's lying. All right. Will Robertson eats every snake he finds. It's true. Do oh. you prefer your Look, black racers he's with over here. or without scales? I usually descale them before I eat them. All right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, it is the next day. I'm gonna head down to the Pine Barrens for a little bit and check some old boards and piece of tin and stuff. Hopefully I can get into some cool snakes. Um, who knows though, we had a pretty bad cold front the other day, like I was saying, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, should be fun. Well, aggravatingly, uh, first tin site I went to uh, got absolutely torn apart by some random Pine Barrens folk. Um, so I have all the tin in the back of my car here. It was like stacked up like in a hangout area. Or not stacked, it was like put up against trees with like a bunch of benches and tables and umbrellas. Like it was really weird. There's some weird crap spray painted on some of it. I just took it all, put it in the back of my car. <laughs> and uh, I don't think that tin's gonna do well there anymore. So I uh, gotta find a new spot for it. <sighs> gonna check another flip site right now. It's just a shingle pile on that side of the road I just went through. And we've got one over here that uh, I've had my eye on for a while. I think a coastal, I know there's coastals at this site. A coastal will turn up in this sooner or later. It's got like these big sheets. So maybe I'll set up my camera and uh, go through this. So I just saw his open, he's still there. Yep, as flipped. Little black racer, we actually got one of these yesterday um, up north in North Jersey, so. Uh, I really don't see these guys too often at this age. Uh, so it's kind of weird that I see two back to back. Too many racers in this video already though. I'm actually just gonna put the tin back down and uh, leave this guy as is. Maybe he'll attract a bigger snake or something. All right, the same coastal that we got the other week is still here, um, thermoregulating under its board. You can see though, it actually shed its skin and it's looking a little bit better. Um, it does still have a bunch of lesions and stuff. So this is a fungal disease candidate and I'm gonna be wiping down my hands and gear after touching this guy. But um, nice to see that he's, or she, likely, is still uh, doing okay. Not terrible. Could be worse. But yeah, not a great looking one either. All right, so we're on the board with the Coastal. Maybe we can get another better looking one today. Um, just something to uh, to maybe inform some people about and uh, 
you know, help bring ethics into the community um, if you're new. Uh, so when you find a snake like that and it's covered in like lumps and lesions and things like that, it's a really good idea to, you know, carry like antibacterial wipes on you and wipe down your hands and whatever gear may have come in contact with that snake because, um, and for, because then, you know, you're not going to be spreading this fungal infection around to different snakes that you go and find that day. So that's what I did. Nothing. Pine Barrens isn't being too generous with me today. I mean, a coastal any other day would be a score, but it's the same one that I found a week or so ago. So I'm gonna keep looking, see what I can do. All right, uh, forgive me because uh, I'm in the middle of finals right now, but I realized that I uh, didn't film any sort of outro the other day, and uh, basically what ended up happening is I checked a few more spots. The weather was just terrible. Um, it was supposed to be kind of on and off rain and like, um, like cloudy for part of the day and relatively warm, and that wasn't necessarily untrue. But it was kind of like high clouds in the sky, really breezy, and typically wind is pretty bad for finding basking snakes and stuff. And we had just gotten that cold weather the other day, so things just really weren't happening. Um, and sometimes you can just tell when things aren't going to happen, especially down there in the Pine Barrens. So um, I kicked it and headed home. But there should be more cool videos coming up soon, so uh, stay tuned for that.